Yo, what's up guys? We got Pokegame here. Today we have another Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pro OU Showdown Live featuring Lucario. Absolutely love this mod. I'm happy that it's back in OU. It's cool to see its return to the OU tier. And uh, we have two teams today from my buddy R uh, RTSK. Excuse me, I would say RU. RTSK. You guys can get it from my website, Pokegame.com. If you guys do enjoy these videos, make sure you uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel because I'm uploading Pokemon content every day. Two to three videos a day. And uh, we're going to have some fun today with Lucario, so you don't want to miss it. You don't want to miss my other videos, but let's go ahead and look for it. I also have some merch available to celebrate the BESP launch. If you guys want to check that out, feel free to. But the first team is Lucario Webs. The second team is a Swords Dance Lucario team. So Lucario Webs uh, with Scarf Lottie, um, Spec Zone to help out Lottie in general, SD Scizor, and then Choice Vanguard Jump. So it's a really unique team in my opinion very similar to my opponents actually but uh also we both hate this mon a lot we do hmm. bandit garchomp is incredible here you know what let's just start off with shuckle this guy's analytic for sure <laughs> i'm just gonna go hard latios on the hydro pump most likely yep that's analytic and life or we shall just go right for a Draco here onto Magnezone. This is really good damage to get for my Scizor for the end game, which is what I'm kind of going for. Oh, this is the subset. That's awesome. But that don't matter. There's a choice man outrage. You can't sum up on me. Uh, that's amazing for Scizor. SD Scizor looks incredible now that that Mon is basically dead. Their own Scizor comes out, but it fears my Magnezone too. Look how much it took. <laughs> I'm just gonna go Shuckle. I'm assuming they U-turn, but that's amazing for Lucario as well. The, the big thing is I gotta KO. I gotta get a Brox for this guy. I'm still making the Latios play. If they Ice Beam, great play, but I think they'd Hydro again just because it's safe. And what I'm gonna do is go Shuckle now. As they Ice Beam to get my Gluttony. Hey! Let's get up Stealth Rock here in their face. Let's get up Stealth Rock in their face. Basically spam it just for Dragonite. But basically spam Stealth Rock now. So that way I can knock them out with... Because Spin won't kill me. Well, Spin can kill me. Hmm. I'll save this. And go Lucario on the Rapid Spin. And knock them out with E-Speed. They should know they died at E-Speed. I can't really bring in Shuckle or anything though. It doesn't matter. It's still my play. Oh my gosh, man. This is why I was using Adamant versus... Uh, this is why I was using Adamant instead... That's a dirty roll. I'm getting the fort. I'm getting. I'm getting the roll after. Well, I mean, I'll take it. Just click E speed again. <laughs> yeah, they knew it was a dirty roll too. They're like, yo, that's kind of, it's kind of a crazy roll right there. Want to keep your extreme speed in the back, so we're just gonna go shuckle now. And I think I just bring out Scizor and click Source Dance. Best case is they go Dragonite to try and Fire Punch me immediately. I go Dragonite to try and Fire Punch me immediately. But what I'll do on that is I'll go Garchomp to use Rough Skin to break their multi-scale. And then go for the setup Scizor sweep after. Also, I get an Outrage kill after, but yeah. So yeah, SD Scizor can win pretty easily. And their SD Scizor, I don't think, can beat me because of the fact that I am uh, Magnezone on my team. So I think we're looking all right here. This is one of my things, though. But like, Adamant Lucario... Versus Jolly. The damage, I would have KO'd Starmie there. <sighs> I'm going to go Adamant again. Whatever, I'm going Adamant. I'll change it. I'll go back and forth. I'll just go back and forth. Because I want to KO Pokemon here. But yeah, we go for Swords Dance. Oh. Let's go for BP now. Oh, they go hard. Dragonite, that's awesome. There's no point in SD again. Uh, basically... This Mon, that Mon's a threat, so I would rather force him to Fire Punch here. Take Rough Skin. And then Outrage, they gave me Dragonite, that's amazing. I, I think I just win now with SD Scizor. Because who cares about Starmie KOing me now? Because Starmie is now in range of Lucario, and then I SD up on my homie. But, I'm gonna go for Ice Beam. Because I expected them to go Glass Grin. I shouldn't have. That was a bad play on my part. It's fine, dude. Scissor literally cooks bullet punch and wins. 
Basically, I was trying to like bluff the the, the Thunderbolt, but I, I like it was like a big brain like stupid play because I could have literally saved that to Ice Beam at the end, uh, and I have Magnezone, so I don't have to care about Scizor. So it was a bad play on my part. But who cares? Who cares? I'm late. It's 1:30 a.m. I'm just chilling on the ladder. This guy can't beat me. That guy definitely can't beat me. Especially not when it takes the type of damage it's about to take. Yeah, so now that dies to plus two. If this is taunt, then I guess it's a different story. But if it's not taunt, we win. Because I do a lot back. I'm assuming this is Stealth Rock, not Taunt. It's just Earthquake plus, yeah, Rock. So I think we win. Stealth Rock, U-Turn, Earthquake, Roost. So unless you get 100 crits in a row, it should be game because there's Scizor dies to my Bullet Punch. Latios gets cooked. Surf doesn't do enough to me. I just Roost here. Okay, unless they reveal Taunt now, which they should have done before. Yeah, that's game. Nice. All right. Well, we take those. So I mean, I mean, Lucario didn't do much, but I mean, it got rid of. Uh, I don't know what that is, but uh, Lucario didn't do much, but it got rid of the. Um, it got rid of the Magnezone, which is really nice for my Scizor to just clean up at the end. But I knew Scizor would clean the second Magnezone took a hit from Garchomp, which is why I went for that outrage. Um, I'm not mental herb, which is annoying. You are pretty good here. I think I just bullet punch with Scizor twice on this type of team. Magnezone is my least necessary member in my opinion. And I think Garchomp is just super strong here too. Basically, I just forced the... Uh... Actually, Dragon Claw is my best play because I'm banded. Yeah, I'll put him in range of all my attacks. And I have extreme speed after, so I'm okay. This is fine, yeah, because I'm, I'm trying to Psychic Endgame, even though they have... or I don't have Thunderbolt on this one, right? Ah, oh, damn. That's not the best for me. I'll get up rocks in this guy's face. Uh, sure. <laughs> and we'll get up Sticky Web. This can't KO me because of Gluttony, which is great. Nice. So we get up Sticky Web as well. Rocks are up basically just so my Scizor can 1v1 their team, and now we just Final Gambit because it doesn't matter what they do. So Lucario also basically outspeeds everything, so extreme speed here. Doesn't matter that they go Gengar. Gonna Meteor Mash you after. Yep, that's why we got up the webs, baby. Let's go. <laughs> so that mod dies, which is awesome. Braylon dies as well. Azu comes out. Why not Meteor Mash them, bro? That way they can't belly drum up in my face. They can't even kill me unless they go for player. Oh, they have Waterfall on their belly drum sets. I forgot that. But I'm pretty sure I SD up with my Scizor now and win. Because that KOs these guys. That KOs Azu. They Aqua Jet there, so they definitely lose now. Because <laughs> I just U turn out on Crawdot and then I win the game. So basically, uh, Lucario made it, so Scizor won. That's it. This pair goes really well together. Crawdot does not matter. I just simply U turn out versus there and it dies. And that's game, because they know they lose the bullet punch at that point. So nice. So Lucario made it. So Scizor won, and Lucario outsped Gengar. So we're not getting, like, sweeps with it, but we're, we're KOing Pokemon that matter to die, so that way my Scizor wins. So that's cool. And that's the second time that happened in a row, so that's really nice. I'm enjoying that. I have another team as well that we can use as we get halfway through the video, but we're only at, like, what, nine minutes now, so I'll keep it going the same way. Man, I'm tired, guys. So I'm going, um... What's the story? I'm uh, I'm going. My birthday is this weekend. I actually have no idea when this video goes up, but my birthday is uh, Sunday. I'm gonna be. I think. I think I'm gonna be 28 now. I think. Oh God, <laughs> that is not what I like to fight with this team. Uh, but yeah, so my birthday is this. Uh, actually, they're pretty ice beam week. My birthday is this weekend, so I'm and we're going away because my buddy uh, Tyler is having his wedding this weekend as well. So I'm going, and uh, it's like a three-day wedding. So I'm. I'm I had to do 21 videos, or like 30-something videos this week. Uh, I should have sleep talking on this guy, huh? I'm just potentially spam toxic if I can. Uh, rocks are really what matter here mostly. 
over anything. And I feel like my shuckle luck is insane as well. I'm gonna see if I can final gambit as well. It's fine. Bullet seeds. Let's see how many they get. Ugh, they get enough. But they're life orb, which is important. So I can bring out you and just click Ice Beam now and get a kill. I won't die to Mach Punch. They actually make a misplay, in my opinion, by not going for Mach Punch for Chip, because that would have put me in range of extreme speed. And now they're obviously going for U-turn, right? But still, I think they should have. I'm just going to click Choice Ban Earthquake here. It does a lot of damage. They go Dolph and I 2 a KO them. If they, if they U-turn, they die. So, could be... <laughs> yeah, I definitely would have Mach Punched there at that point. But that's, I mean, that's a great turn for me, right? That's a fantastic turn for me. Can't really switch on this mon. You know what? Now I can. I'm going Lucario. They should Ice Shard. Yeah. This is Adam in life or close combat. It's the same thing as the extreme speed, bro. I just want I want a psychic win in this end game, bro. Yeah, there you go, Lucario. There you go, buddy. You love to see it. Big Luke. Big Luke. I have a way better shot of Ice Beam sweeping than, than anything else. So, Meta Champ comes out. Uh, this helps my Ice Beam sweep, so I'm just going to get extreme speed damage on them. As they go for high jump kick there. Perfect. We're going to bring out you and just click Ice Beam. I should do 40%. Maybe they'll go out into something else. I don't know. I should calculate this does 40%, but this is 359 special attack. I believe it does 40%. Like, I believe in the power of the 40%. Like, even like, this is why, when you're plus four life orb, man, you should have just hit my Breloom. I think they should have just hit me, personally. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. But, I would have. Because now the endgame gets a little fishy for them. B. Wait, do you go D Knight here? I'm a little, I'm a little weak to deny. I think I should have actually um, went Magnezone. Magnezone would have been better on the, on that, because I wouldn't have sacked, I would have sacked to Metacham Magnezone, and then I would have had Lottie. Well, I would have taken a lot of damage, to be fair. Maybe the Dragonite endgame was still going to be scary. But I'm thinking I can SD up on basically whatever they do. If they go Lottie and drop a Draco, it, it's better for me, right? If they go Dragonite, I have to Ice Beam. So I go Zone. And click spec slash cannon now. Maybe they surf. Psychic. They go that. You better not be out. Well, you. If I said you better not be out of it, bro. <laughs> I told you, you better not be out of it. We just attack this directly as they go for outrage there, which means they are banded. Just go you. The Dragon Claw. Get a kill, get a kill. They can't E speed win. And they could have potentially e-speed one at this point had they mock punched my Lottie. So that's why, like, you know, it's just something to think about. Go for, go for the better attack. What did they even go for? Psychic. Well, now my Lottie lives both. I eat everything. Ice beam two KOs. Oh, or they just that. Oh, just you turn off this game. They can't kill me even with a crit anything. I don't like that the Lottie eats that. <laughs> nice. I don't like the lot of that. But again, Lucario, KO, and Donphan. I'm pretty sure Donphan died just based on the Earthquake damage, man. But I could be wrong. I don't know. Lucario, strong dude. Maybe Donphan didn't die. But you know what? At the end of the day, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> My plan is to get up Stealth Rock here. And, uh... Ooh, that is... That is, like, offensive. That's hella offensive. Oh, this is so good. They have zero volt switch switching. <laughs> that is actually... If I click Specs Thunderbolt... The only way this turn could be better is if I click Specs Thunderbolt. <laughs> Alright. So we go you. They're, they're Defogger. Should I just click Choice Bet? Nah, I should just click Earthquake. Dragonite's not a threat. If I'm real, I just click Outrage here, but I don't have to. <laughs> I really don't have to. I would love to, though. 
But then it forces in Weavile to get the kill. And then I can get an SD up on Weavile. Actually, no, that is the play. Because that's offensive Rotom, and I'm adamant. So I can get an SD up on Weavile. So I go for Outrager to force in Weavile after. This also kills Dragonite. And then I go for plus two, and plus two E-Speed KOs Infernape. Uh, it should KO offensive Rotom, because that's definitely offensive Rotom. Um, yeah, I'm in a good spot. I'm in a good spot. Hopefully they just sack this and go Weavile after and let me SD and they're, they're banned. Yeah, that's great. So Bandit Outrage was just a thing that didn't give them... It, it forces Weavile in. So I'm trying to look for that Swords Dance Lucario position. Yep. Obviously they crash. We see that they're most likely Bandit. So I go Lucario now and I can Swords Dance up. Extreme Speed does KO Infernape. It should KO Rotom as well, I would think. But even if it doesn't, it puts it in it puts me in a position to win with Scizor. Like I said, this is hella offensive run. This is there's zero ball. Yeah, yep, that's I knew it. I knew it, bro. Just based on that hydro pump damage, man. Sorry, buddy, but extreme speed's higher priority than uh than mock punch, so you die too. There's the Lucario sweep. Yeah, yeah, I gotta leave a like for Lucario sweep. Y'all yeah, gotta leave a like for the Lucario sweep, man. That it KO'd Dragonite, it KO'd Weavile, it would close combat and KO Jirachi, which can't even do anything back to me because it doesn't fire punch at the moment. Only Drain Punch. I KO that. There's no way I lost to a Weavile with Scizor. Scizor won the game at that point, too. And Scarf Lottie revenge could always. So that was textbook, like, maybe I won't even use the other team, but that was textbook Lucario stuff, man. Legit. You put yourself in a position to be. It's the same thing, like, you let your Tyranitar get. Um, like, people would let their Latioses get Pursuit Trapped by Tyranitar, but like Banda T-Tar or something, and then you Swords Dance up with Lucario after, and you're just sweet, man. That was so glorious to see. That would have been five KOs for Luke. Well, that's why, again, I decided on the Outrage play. I'm happy that even though I'm tired, and I know I'm not at 100% right now. What am I ever at 100%? Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Like, I was able to do that. Now, unfortunately, this game, I'm probably not going to be able to do the same thing. <laughs> I'm gonna go Magnet Zone because that crawl is a threat. <laughs> and I'm timid, so they might be jolly. Yeah, that run with threat too, bro. I'm just gonna try attack, dude. I would like them to go Glide Score here and take a lot of damage. Plus, I have a chance to burn them. I think they're Scarf as well. So, like, Rocks Up are gonna make the difference in the Kelly and Rotom. If they go Glide Score. Again, this is Specs. I got the freeze on Glide Score. Holy crap. I mean, we'll take full advantage, right? I don't need webs in this game. I just need that. No! Oh, wait. Wait, this is great. This is great. I killed Gliscor. That's all I needed. I, like I said, I don't need webs. I just need a, I just need a Stealth Rock. Because Lucario kills everything. <laughs> we just go you and drop a Draco. As they on their Scarf Rotom. Scarf Rotom dies if you don't run any HP, if you didn't know. <laughs> I guess. If you didn't know. I know I didn't know. <laughs> but if you... <laughs> Hard Garchomp! I would flamethrower if I were them. But Moonblast doesn't kill me anyway. And now we click Choice Ban Earthquake. Oh my god. Who cares if they go Lottie? Because this is better for me to just click U-turn now. Yep. Specs Thunderbolt time. Draco Meter sweeps, so... Yep, they just they just lose the Draco Meter now. I'm assuming they surf here, but I don't care. I just bullet punch them. So they are in extreme speed range. That's it, right? That should be it. This kills everything. This kills Clef. This kills Scizor. I know there's specs as well, so my Lottie wins too. Ice Beam wins as well. Aqua Jet doesn't KO me. And I live it for one more life or pit too. Let's go, baby. Oh my god, Lucario, you demon. You demon. Let's go, Lucario. E Speed doesn't miss. We know their specs just based on the damage they did to my Scizor. So I just go you. And I win the game with Ice Beam. Oh my god, Lucario, little demon, you. I got a freeze on that homie and it gave me so much. <laughs> That's why I went for try attack. <laughs> Ooh, I played this person while I was testing, but I was testing the other team. I was testing the other team out though, so. This one's different. They could have taunt, but I still click stealth rock anyway. 
Ah, <sighs> this one's annoying. I don't have Encore, which is the annoying part too. I'm gonna go Lottie. I hope they knock me off so I can click buttons with it, but it's definitely gonna defog on me. I go back on the Blissey. Click Stealth Rock again. Same thing. I'm gonna click Ice Beam on just in case. Like, I want them. What I want them to do is I want them to get up rocks themselves, so that way we can get up rocks. I want equivalent exchange, man. Be my friend. There's Skarmory Shedshell. So I need to get. Uh, if Vukari can get plus two, it can do work here, because I'm adamant. Perfect. That's what I wanted. That's legitimately what I wanted there. I want them to get a Brox. I don't want to break their sturdy. We go you. This gives me rocks now. They don't crit me, which is awesome. I think I just go guard chomp here. Force them to ice beam me, but I want to weaken this guy, so. Alright, Killa. Even if they flamethrower into me, I think that's fine too. Uh, this team is tough for me to break, period. But still. Get a spadef drop, which doesn't make a difference, really. I sack this. I go Lucario now. And I click close combat. Okay, that's physically defensive glass. I can't break this team. Good game. I, if it's physically defensive glass, I can never break it. Ever. SD Scizor uh, couldn't win his last month either because of Flamethrower Underwear Clef. Ooh. So this is an MV uh, squad, which is pretty cool. I'm going to leave Magnazone and Volt Switch. And then just BP this guy. I wish you could just... Or do I? You know what I do? I least shuffle. I just final gambit. I final gambit. Because that prevents hazards from them. I'm not getting up hazards in this game. You. I'm not getting up hazards in this game. So I'd rather limit theirs. I'm pretty sure this is Envy's team. Yeah, I had no way of the breaking the stall team, unfortunately. If Lucario stud Ice Punch, maybe. But besides that, I didn't see how I could win. Oh, cool. Well, I get a Brox here, which is awesome. I suppose this is going to cost me two Pokemon, though. It depends. If they Surf first, I can do this. So I can Final Gambit after, then go Garchomp. Awesome. So I Final Gambit here. They kill me, obviously. Good thing is Garchomp was only necessary for this. Because I have Extreme Speed for Ribeiro. And I just clicked Choice Ben Outrage. 87%, good enough for me. Definitely good enough for me. <laughs> Should be able to safely go Lottie now and click Psych. This team is really weak to, uh, to Lottie. Now that I think about it. SD Scizor also looks phenomenal in this game. <laughs> like, it looks amazing. It looks straight up amazing. I know that's Scarf Garchomp, though. I gotta be careful about locking myself in the Ice Beam. They can't switch because they're lead. So they're just gonna get up this and die. Yeah, they should just get this up and die. Oh, they do Brave Bird me instead, huh? I guess just in case I was Scar. I don't know why they didn't get up spikes. I would have gotten a spike there. But we just bring out Latios again. Latios will knock out Garchomp. I know that's Life Orb of Barrel. <laughs> Actually, Draco is my best play. Oh. This isn't Scarf. From what I remember, that's not Scarf, right? Yeah, so we get rid of Gengar there, which is awesome for Lucario's extreme speed. Garchomp comes out. I'm fairly confident this was Scarf, so I'm going to go Magnazone here. The Earthquake, great play. 
respects Flash Cannon, which doesn't knock them out. And then I believe I E-speed up, I SD up with Lucario, and then I E-speed and win, I think. That should be game. I, Lucario should just win now. Because it's going to take three turns to kill me. Awesome, and they're going to be confused. Psychic wins too, but this is more fun. Let's go ahead and SD up. Because I know that's Life Orb but Barrel. And again, because I'm Adam and Lucario, man, everything should die. Everything should scared up die. If they switch, they lose anyway. If they stay in, they lose. That's probably like the best case for them too, that I eventually kill myself with Life Orb plus, plus Rough Skin. But that dies. And I had Psychic in the back as well to win, so I just click a chain speed on everything. And Babero can't kill Scissor with plus four Aqua Jet, which it gets because it's simple. Nice little Lucario putting in work. You love to see it. Absolutely love to see it. Sorry, buddy. I am adamant. I am adamant on this Lucario. I don't even know if you live jolly, but I like to say I'm adamant when I run adamant Lucario. Yeah, guys, I'm not even using the other team. <laughs> let's just let's just put in work on my Luke, bro. You die. There's no freaking way. And even if you live, like, on, like, 10%, and I die. First off, you have to go for SD, which is the only way you could. Oh, I guess it's over then. Hey, GG, fam. I think you should have spiked with Skarm. Just because it would have helped a little bit more. I would have only had one hit. But, um... But, yeah. That uh, was fun. That was definitely fun. He didn't want... Oh, shoot. I just got disconnected. Ugh. Well, that's a perfect time for my internet to stop working. Wait, he didn't want webs, though. Ah, wait. Were you not... I don't get it. I had Magnus on out. Hold up. My internet just, like, crapped out on me. So, let me <laughs> let me refresh. I don't know. I don't know. I had Scarf Lottie. So I wasn't really fearing much. Man, that'd be scary though. But then again, if they didn't want webs, they should have uh, attacked into Shuckle. But I guess they expected to get two or three kills with Manaphy instead of just... Um, three kills instead of just two. Yeah. Anyway. GG fam. Alright, I'm gonna end it on that. Nice, uh, nice little video. Overall, Lucario, still crazy mon. Like, it put in a crazy amount of work. We didn't have the stall matchup, which is crazy because Lucario can actually break stall in Gen 4. But I didn't think... I, without Ice Punch on Lucario, I don't think you can break Glide Score. It's cr if, you fight, if you fight stall, the, the setup you want is Swords Dance. You want Close Combat, Meteor Mash, and Ice Punch, right? But there's no Ice Punch because there are no move tutors. But overall, I really did enjoy this video. I think Lucario overperformed for sure i think it went crazy this entire video uh it set up for opportunities i th my favorite game of the live though my favorite game of the live absolutely had to be the weavile one where i outraged the the lucar the scissor like turn whatever four or five maybe it was ten just so weavile would purposely revenge kill me so i could as the up lucar it rocks up and just win the game with e speed luke so i absolutely like that i think that was that was an awesome an awesome like showcase of Lucario. We had a, a few awesome ones there too. Like again, forcing Garchomp to lock itself into outrage. Obviously, Magnezone getting off the damage on that too. And we were timid Magnezone in this one, uh, just for those greedy, adamant Breloons. I think you have to run Jolly Breloon personally in this meta. And even though everybody, every single Pokemon speed creeps Jolly Breloon, you don't want to be the the one Breloon that doesn't um, that is outsped by a Magnezone in my opinion. Though you can mock punch, but still. Their thought process was they could get a spore or something off to help them out in the uh, long run. But overall, it was a fun video. Hope y'all enjoyed. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Also, feel free to check out my merch. That link will be down below. And um, yeah, what else? I'm, I'm exhausted. It is 1.52 a.m. and I've been recording for hours. So thank you once again, guys. I appreciate it if you leave a like. Uh, let me know what Pokemon you guys want to see next as well, obviously. I mean, feel free to let me know whatever. I, like, I, I love reading the comments. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, my friends.